What's up, Royal Arena Television? It's J Os, and I'm right now with other legends. It's D I T C digging yeah, in the yeah, crates. Yeah, 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 so yeah. it's Diamond D. What up? What up? A G. A G. Lord Finesse. Lord Finesse O C. Yeah, yeah. You good? Yeah, yeah. yeah we good. great, man. Everything's good. I wanted just to know uh, something about your name. Are you still digging in the crates, of like course. for real? Of course. Like looking for samples and all that. Yeah. yeah, that don't stop. Yeah. That's a way of life. That's a culture. It's not like a, a trend with us. This is this is what we we this is what we uh, started off doing, and this is what we continuing to do. Can you give us a good name of a shop um, in New York when we can like dig into some good crates for real? There's a couple. You got Academy. You have A1. Uh, Academy A. Academy, where are they located? In which borough? Uh, uh, Lower East Side, Manhattan. Manhattan. Lower East Side. Yeah. Yeah. A1 is in Manhattan. Right. Academy, okay. Yeah. Definitely. Cool. Uh, you began in uh, 1990, actually, actually, right? No, 1989. 1989. 1989. Okay, but the the group was uh, founded is in 19, no? Or? Yeah, you can say that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's almost been 30 years. Could you imagine when you began? That you will be, that you will be continue uh, doing music, touring, and all that. Thirty that, years later, that really wasn't the thought. The thought was right now we're doing it. This is what we love to do. We don't know how far this is gonna go, where it's gonna go, but we knew we was doing something that we love. And when you add passion behind creativity and talent, it yeah, lasts okay. 30 years. Yeah, along with quality. Yes, definitely. So in 30 years, how do you see the evolution of hip hop? It's a like big question, but well, if we you look see at, it at 30 years from now, or do we see it where it's at right now? I mean, uh, like now, when you look at the the hip hop scene and all the popular MCs and all that, what's your feeling? What are your feelings? Well, me personally, I'm glad that um, you know when we first started in the 80s, not us, but hip hop. In the 70s, it was supposed to be a fad. It was supposed to die out. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So when it's worldwide now and everywhere you go in the world, every, all the commercials, all the corporations are using hip-hop, you know, it, it feels special because you know you were part of something that affected the whole world. Um, coming from the Bronx, we, spe we knew the art. We knew the five elements. Mm. So the other side to that is nowadays... Some of the new artists don't know the five elements. That's the part I, I wouldn't have expected. I would have expected it always to be passed down on how to how to go about doing this. But hip hop is a definition of, of a person of an individual as well. Like what you see hip hop is, is is really your expression. So it can't knock no one, but I would like to see now a lot of the art form still be present instead mm -hmm. of just um, focusing on, focusing on rapping. Because you know the DJ was the primary yeah, of source, course. and now it's like the rap is the primary source with no DJ and kind of the DJ knows everything. Like I didn't know how to spit 16 bars until I got in the studio with Diamond. You okay, know what I mean? like DJ is important. He's the, he turns into the producer. Right. He's the one that's really in charge of the music and the direction. But now the rapper is in charge of everything, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's just about individualism. But here at the Royal Arena, uh, it's really important for us to have like the, the whole culture represented. So I don't know if you're, it, it's not your first time here in, at the Royal or... Because for me it is. Yeah, it is. For because you know, like uh, we have some uh, breakdance battles, uh, Dope, battle yeah. MCs yeah. as well, MC battles. Try to have all the elements. Yes, exactly. And uh, I wanted to know, uh, do you guys still know a few skills, still have a few skills of another um, other activity, hip hop activity? I mean, uh, do, do the MC know uh, still uh, how to dance or uh, the <laughs> DJ how to uh, paint or something like this? Well, if you know about digging in the crates, like most of the producers rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of, of the producers, except for Buck, but you know, they, they DJ, finesse DJs, raps and producers yes. you know what i'm saying and a lot more other things but none of us were really particular with graffiti but finesse kind of got his little okay. when, when he signs his autograph it looks like graffiti but i used to break dance you know what i mean i used to throw up tags okay so did fat joe yeah fat, fat joe, joe yeah? is a graffiti artist. joy crack yeah diamond yeah. as well um in 2016 you guys dropped an album called sessions 
how did it happen? Were you all together in the studio as well with Fajo? Fajo is on the features on the on the album. Oh, I mean, um, it was just something that we decided on as a collective. And I mean, Joe wasn't featured. He's part of DITC. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? It's just that he has his own career individually. But it was just something that we decided, you know, we should do. And we we was all there physically, all of us. You know what I'm saying? Even Big Girl in spirit. Mm. And talking about Fadjo, I, I had a question because in his career, he had, uh, he always had the ITC, but on his solo career, he uh, did choices that were sometimes really uh, different, you know, like the, the tracks with Ashanti. Uh, he had some boom bap uh, songs and then uh, um, trap songs or uh, R&B songs and all that. Uh, did you always co-sign his choices? Me personally, yeah. The first time I seen him perform was at the Apollo. Paul, oh, yeah, Harlem. Yeah, he yeah. he did the amateur like he won five nights in a, five times in a row. Like he's as his vision MC. wasn't yeah. to be no, as a performer. As a performer, ah, but he won. He, he was like a competition. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But his vision from the gate was to be huge. Hmm. Our vision from the gate was to just it's more of a cultural more of a cultural thing. Mm -hmm. So it, there's nothing different from day one to now of Fat Joe. Mm -hmm. If you've seen him perform, he had dances, he showed up in the stretch limousine. This is when nobody even knew who he was. So you knew from that time, like his aspiration is to be huge and, you know, use hip hop as a platform to be real big. I feel like Big L is kind of like the same way. Mm -hmm. You got us up here who really focus on the art and, you know, OC, me, low key, but Big L and, and, and Fat Joe wanted something else. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Stars. Um, talking about super groups, I, like, I mean, you are a collective, but we can as well like name it a super group. Uh, according to you, is there a, a, another collective more recent uh, that could be uh, like that you co-sign? Like, uh, did you like the the Slaughterhouse's album and all the, those kinds of uh, I mean, projects? Those are groups. When you say super groups, and when you're comparing us to other groups, we're different. We're on a whole nother level, a whole nother planet due to the fact that there's no other groups that have as many producers, successful mm. producers, multi-platinum producers, as far as artists, as far as DJs. If you can name that group, then you can compare them to us if they can do the same things we do. But otherwise than that, it's no knock against any of these groups. I mean, the greatest group that I love is Wu-Tang. I say that with, 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 I co -sign that. <laughs> with, with no problem. But when you saying what we do opposed to what other groups do, there's not really none that's matching up. I agree, and I I'll go on the limb and say I think we're just the greatest. Period. You know what I mean? Biggie, you say? I think we're the greatest. Ah, uh, you are okay, because okay. of what we bring to the table. Like he said, like even our DJs, like we had DJ Rock Raider, world champion DMC. Like no mm. one in the crew mm. is regular or average everybody who does what they do does it at a high level i know? mean i i'll take it i take it another level um if you look at the discography outside of ditc like things that show produce things that diamond produce things that buck wild produce things that i produce mm -hmm. if you look at if you ever add that discography up that's a huge discography just on the production half and then if you add the solos and the features mm -hmm. and everything else then it's, it's huge yeah I mean he just answered it that's what I was about to say you sitting here with multi-platinum producers Grammy award nominated winners like ain't nobody bigger than that I mean if you want to talk numbers mm -hmm. but we never focused on that we focused mm -hmm. on the art the Always. culture Whatever happened, it happened, and it's, it's, it's beautiful, but he's just multi-platinum producers, and me and him don't produce music, but we're writers, so we're part of that same, we're part of this, you know what right. I'm saying? Everything that's on the wall, that's double platinum, triple, uh, what was, what was Fuji's? 17, 20 million plus. 20 million. 
It's yeah. Diamond D, man. Like, come on, like it's law of finesse. What you gonna say, Dre? You know he got like plaques. Dr. Dre man. hired him to produce a song. Like yeah, that. yeah. You know what I mean? That that I think that sums it up right there. Like, you know what I mean? You probably got arguably one of the best producers ever course, that's yeah. hiring an MC to produce on this album. I know he's a producer, but this is my MC, buddy. You know? <laughs> yeah, true. But are you still like you all come from New York? So I, I wanted just to do a little comparison. But yeah, okay, there's no comparison. But uh, are you uh, listening to some new artists from New York? Like tonight we have as well at the Royal uh, French Montana. He did actually a good song, like a big uh, hit with Fadjo last year, all the way up. Right. So are you sometimes checking? The, the new generation For of sure. New York. I know French personally from, you know, my hood, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's it's I seen his his growth from doing the DVDs, you know what yeah, I mean, yeah, Coke yeah. Boy DVDs to who he is now. It's like nothing but motivation and inspiration. A Boogie with the hoodie, Don Q. I like these guys coming out of New York. Dave East, you know, um I like a few guys coming out of the city. I like young MA. Um, yeah, Cardi B. I, I'm. That's the like the hottest song right now Fred in the city. The from the yeah, Fred the Godson. So it's it's a lot of dudes, you know, holding it down. And uh, to uh, go back about Switzerland, uh, even if it's maybe your first time here at the Royal, but I think it's not your first time in Switzerland, I'm right? In, uh, Switzerland many times. Yeah, yeah. So if you had to describe our country with like three words, what would they be? Mountains, money, and chocolate. No oh, man, that's so like it's a cliche, you know. <laughs> Mountains, <laughs> chocolate, and money. money. Wow, yeah. you you think it's reality? Like you, that's you what you saw. Describe. I, I, I'm a visitor. I'm no, a no, visitor. I'm, I can't course. tell you what your reality no, is. No, no, no. no. I mean, but those are the three words that come to my mind when I think of Switzerland. Yeah, yeah, okay. But you're always having a good time here. Right. Always. You think that our public is like real hip hop fans? Yeah, definitely. definitely. For sure. Cool. So the yeah, every run I've ever made in Europe, there was always a Switzerland stop. So hip hop is live and well. Cool, cool, cool. So we are co-signed by DITC. Right. Guys, thanks a lot. What are your uh, next projects? Maybe the solo projects or the the group projects? Um, I'm working on the Don Peace Volume Two, the follow up to the first album. Um, got some things in the work with my man right here, AG. Um, Finesse got a, um, a new album he's working on. And OC just dropped an album recently. Um, yeah. That's right. Same moon, same sun. Let's go cop that if you haven't. If you haven't yeah. cop that yet, cop that OC album. It's crazy. For sure. And cop that Take It Back Show on AG That's album. That's right. Take crazy. It Back Show on AG. And my next Fly solo on. album, The Taste on. of Ambrosia, That's Diamond right. Produce, Finesse Produce, Alchemist, yeah. Premier, Marco yeah. Polo, Showbiz, Buckwild. Supreme. AG so. got the All Star album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I a culture that, album because they yeah. all looked out and said, "Yo, yeah, I want to contribute to that." So I, I, I feel real good about that. No doubt. My next project is called The Inevitable. I'll just leave it like that. What? what how is it called? The, the inevitable. inevitable. The Inevitable. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. Yeah. Okay, Lord Finis, The Inevitable. Guys, thank you a lot. It was really a pleasure Thanks for to having meet us. you. Right. And uh, have a good uh, trip into Europe, through Europe. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Royal Peace. Arena. See ya.